Most guides stop at telling you to download ISLC or timer resolution. Don't get me wrong, they work, but they're just a band-aid. The truth is, Windows has hidden timer settings, system calls, and driver-level tweaks that decide how often your CPU processes interrupts, how your GPU gets frames, and how smooth frame times feel in-game. If you've ever had micro stutters, inconsistent frame pacing, or random input lag spikes, this is often because your system timer isn't optimized correctly. Today, we're going deeper than ISLC, showing you five powerful steps to optimize Windows timer resolution properly for consistent frame times and reduced latency. Step one, understand and measure your current timer resolution. Before you start tweaking anything, it's important to get a clear picture of how your system is currently behaving. This gives us a baseline. Start by pressing Win plus R, type CMD, and hit Enter to open the command prompt. Then type in PowerCFG slash Query. Scroll through the output and look for System Timer Resolution. On most Windows 10 and 11 systems, the default resolution is 15.6 milliseconds. However, when certain apps or games demand more precision, the system can temporarily drop it to 0.5 milliseconds. Here's the issue. Windows doesn't always hold that resolution steady. It often jumps around between 15.6 milliseconds, 10 milliseconds, 1 millisecond, and 0.5 milliseconds, depending on what background tasks are running. That constant switching is what leads to micro stutters, especially in games and real-time applications. Next, download and install Latency Mod. It's a free diagnostic tool. Run it while you're gaming or using any performance-heavy software. Look at the DPC latency graphs and see if there are spikes that line up with changes in the timer resolution. If you notice that the timer fluctuates and DPC latency jumps when it does, that means your system isn't maintaining a stable timer resolution. And that's exactly what we're going to fix in the next steps. Step 2. Force stable timer resolution with registry edits. Now that you've seen how unstable the system timer can be, it's time to lock it down with some registry tweaks. First, open the registry editor by pressing Win plus R, typing regedit, and hitting Enter. Navigate to this path. Once you're there, either create or edit the following DWORD values. Global timer resolution requests equals one. This forces Windows to honor custom timer resolution requests from apps or services instead of silently ignoring them. And use Platform Tick, which is actually set using BCD Edit, not the registry. It tells Windows to stick with the hardware timer, a stable source, instead of constantly flipping between different internal timers. Note, to set Use Platform Tick, open Command Prompt as Admin and type Next, we'll head to another registry path to unlock more performance-focused settings. In this section, make the following edits. System responsiveness equals zero. By default, it's set to 20, which tells Windows to prioritize background tasks. Setting it to zero shifts focus to foreground performance, perfect for gaming or low-latency workloads. Network throttling index equals, this disables a hidden network throttle that can introduce latency, especially during high traffic or online gaming situations. Scheduling category equals high. This adjusts how the system prioritizes multimedia processing, helping reduce stutter and improve real-time performance. Together, these registry and BCD tweets Create a more stable environment where a 0.5 millisecond timer resolution can be requested and held consistently, without Windows trying to help by interfering, which often just makes things worse. Step 3. Apply BCD Edit and Command Line Timer Fixes. Now that the registry is optimized, let's lock in those changes with some boot time configuration commands. These ensure your system consistently uses stable, low-latency timers even before Windows fully loads. Start by opening Command Prompt as Administrator. Then, run the following commands one by one. 
Here's a quick breakdown of what each one does. Use Platform Tick. This forces Windows to use a stable, fixed-rate hardware timer instead of bouncing between different sources. TSC Sync Policy Enhanced makes the system sync CPU cores more effectively. That's crucial for consistent frame times, especially in multi-core gaming scenarios. Disable Dynamic Tick prevents Windows from putting timers to sleep to save power. That feature might be efficient on paper, but it often introduces micro-stutters during real-time tasks. Use Platform Clock tells Windows to make HPET, High Precision Event Timer, available. While not always the primary timer, it acts as a solid fallback for stability. Step 4. Optimize Multimedia Timer Calls – The ISLC Killer Upgrade ISLC is popular for lowering latency, it clears standby memory and forces a 0.5 millisecond timer request. But there's a way to go deeper and make those timer calls even more efficient directly from within Windows itself. We're going to fine-tune the multimedia scheduling system using the registry. First, open RegEdit and head to Now set the following values. GPU priority equals 8. Gives the GPU thread highest execution priority in the scheduler. Priority equals 6. Elevates the overall thread priority for games, reducing input and render delay. Scheduling category equals high. Ensures this task group is treated as high priority by the Windows Multimedia Scheduler. Affinity equals leave it blank. Don't force a specific core, let Windows manage it dynamically unless you have a very specific CPU pinning setup. Next move to here, change clock rate to 1010. This increases the frequency of multimedia scheduling. A lower value means more frequent processing, which tightens up frame timing, especially for audio-video sync and low-latency tasks. Now to automate the whole thing, so you don't have to manually run ISLC or timer resolution tools every time your system boots. Open Command Prompt as administrator and run this command. This creates a scheduled task that runs silently at logon and applies a system-wide 0.5 millisecond timer resolution without needing ISLC running in the background. So instead of relying on third-party tools every session, your system will automatically lock in max timer precision on boot. No extra clicks, no memory hogs, no delay. Step five. Test and validate stable frame time. Now that the system is tuned, open LatencyMon and let it run while gaming. You should no longer see red spikes caused by ntoskrnl.exe or dxgkrnl.sys. Open RTSS or RevaTuner and enable frame time graph. Your frame timeline should now be flat with fewer micro spikes. For extra polish, open Device Manager, then System Devices. Disable High Precision Event Timer, HPET, if your system runs better without it. Some CPUs prefer TSC, or Timestamp Counter, only. Benchmark both modes, HPET on versus off. Keep the one with flatter frame times. And that's it! You've just learned how to optimize Windows Timer Resolution properly. Not just ISLC, but the full stack. Registry edits, BCDEE edit fixes, multimedia scheduling tweaks, and auto-applied stable timers. The result? Consistent 0.5 millisecond system timer. Flatter frame times. Goodbye, micro stutters. Lower input delay across all games. If this video helped, smash that like button, subscribe for more no fluff optimization guides, and let me know in the comments if you want me to cover HPET tuning versus TSC tuning in detail. Now your Windows system is no longer guessing its timing, it's locked in for competitive gaming performance.